All right, so the Cardinals made a pretty big move today where they re-signed tight end Zach Ertz to a three-year contract, and he's rumored to be making 10 plus million a year. This is pretty close to the contract I predicted. I said I'd like to see him back on like a two-year 16 to 20 million dollar deal, but instead we just added an extra year, and I'm honestly 100% okay with that. He proved he's still really good, and we didn't even get to see him and D-Hop play a full season together, but next year, we're gonna hopefully be able to see that. Zach Ertz is literally Kyler Murray's safety blanket, and he is wide open basically every play. Kyler said it himself. So with him being back and DeAndre Hopkins fully healed, this offense should be pretty dangerous next year. And what kind of concerned me about Zach Ertz is I saw that Washington had interest in him and the fact that we weren't getting a deal done was a little concerning to me. But now that something got done, I feel so much more relief, but we still have so many moves that need to be done. We also need to clear up some cap space. So Jordan Phillips got to get cut. Hopefully DeAndre Hopkins contract gets restructured and maybe Kyler gets extended. Who really knows? But we still have big holes in this team. We still need a wide receiver too because Christian Kirk is probably going to walk in free agency. Same with AJ Green. So maybe someone like Juju Smith. We also need a right guard. So maybe we bring in someone like James Daniels. I don't know. But cap space is the problem right now. So we got to clear it. There's ways to do it. But the fact that free agency starts tomorrow and we haven't made those moves, a little concerning. But hey, we'll see what happens because like I said, free agency starts tomorrow. So if we're going to make any moves, we got to make them now. But with that being said, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below if you think we overpaid for him or not. This $10 million a year for a 31-year-old tight end could be a little crazy, but with the way he was producing last year, I'm honestly fine with this. He earned his money and he looked really good in our system, so I'm completely fine with it. And if you guys are new to the channel and ended up enjoying today's video, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post NFL-related content, so if you're a fan of that, this is the perfect channel for you. But like I said, that's all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out.